Hi, good evening. I'm making these videos for my students. Uh, today, especially, I'm making this video for uh, one of our subscriber. Today, we are going to learn how to create door schedule and window schedule. When we say door schedule and window schedule, both are different category. So, in case if you are trying to create both the schedule in a single tabular form, then you have to create a common parameter in case if you don't have any common parameter then it is better to create schedule separately okay so here so you know, this is a sheet view okay here here you can see it's a sheet view i don't have title block i don't have title block i have just removed title block in case if you want to add a title block you can add anytime if you go to insert load family and select title block and select whichever the title block you need open and you will get the title block and then go to families Here go to annotation symbols and here select title block standard and when you drag you can add your title block so this sheet is bigger so you can enlarge your view otherwise you can change the title block to a smaller size go to insert it works fine okay so you can add this title block anytime and you can keep this left right anytime so rivet I'm going to recognize the outer end and it will set the boundary okay so you need to take care that this view boundary is not going out of title block boundary okay so you can add your title block anytime okay and i have my 3d view here you can see i have updated chaja and the doors and windows it's the same revit work project 001 and i have added door schedule and window schedule so i'm going to show you how to create these schedules okay so here we have door schedule and the type mark width height and count window schedule we have type mark height width and count let's go to 3d view so this is our 3d view you can see so here i have used different type of doors here you can see it's an entrance door and here you can see it's a service door and if we go to section box and here you can see it's a bedroom door again you can minimize this okay so here you can see I have used a different type of doors and a different type of windows now we'll see how to add door schedule and window schedule so here to create door schedule or window schedule in case if you want to get any data in a tabular form then you should go to view and here in the create you can see here it's schedule if you are clicking the drop down arrow then you will see the list of options here you can see schedule and quantity and material takeoff so you can use both the option but in case if you need number of count then it is better to go for schedule and quantity 
in case if you are looking for material volume then you can choose material takeoff option so I'm going to choose here to create window and door schedule I'm going to take schedule quantities So here you can see by default it will choose multiple category so from this list you have to select which category you want here I'm selecting windows first okay let's name our schedule windows let's take our name as windows quantity you can choose any name then give ok and here from the available field you can choose any parameter if you want to search any parameter you can search here for example family so I want family and type and then width let's take width we have two width let's see which width is correct let's add both the width I don't know which width is correct that's why I'm choosing both then height select let's select both the height then if you go to edit tab you can see here the parameter details so here it is showing shared parameter common length and here we can see the list I am unable to access the scroll button okay and the next if I go to edit type I am unable to edit that means that's the default height this is a creator shared parameter so let's remove this one select go to edit so I am unable to change anything that means that's the default width and this one is a shared or created parameter remove this so I have family and type width height and then what I need so I need count let's type count here select count add parameter and I need type mark type mark so I need type mark select and and then say ok and here you can see the width actually blank then we don't have any other option we have to change this parameter height we are having values but it's better to have the right parameter so let's go to field and select width yes you can select here width add and this width you can remove select width and bring this to top and say ok yes now we have the values and keep this to center save the project select height and keep this to middle centered count keep this to right side the title keep this to center type mark keep this to center family and type for now we don't need let's hide so I have my title width height count and type mark bring this type mark to the left so go to field select type mark and keep this up and say ok yes now sort this list go to sorting and grouping and here sort by type mark and here you have to uncheck itemize every instance and add total type here total number of 
windows equals say ok and here you can see you can read the total number of windows 21 and close so once the schedule is ready you can keep this on sheet let's go to the same sheet and here you can take window schedule and you can place it here So same like a window schedule we can create a door schedule also so I'm going to show you how to take door schedule so here you can see these type mark I have given v1 w1 w2 w3 by default this won't come okay so to give type mark you can go to 3d view you can select go to edit type and here come down and see type mark parameter here you can input you can give type mark value and give ok so that value will be visible on the window shadow the same way for a door also we need to give type mark so I can go to 3d view I can select door I can go to edit type then come to type mark here and I have entered as entrance door and here we have to be very careful that this value is not given to any other family okay now let me show you how to create door schedule to create door schedule go to view take schedule and quantities and here select door door category so it's a category list door I have selected and I'm going to name this table as door quantity okay and then face always keep this to the latest phase for now this project latest phase is new construction and then say ok so here we have to choose the field of parameter so here let's select family and type if you type F then it will go to F so family and type I'm going to select then we need a type mark I'm going to type T so that's why then it will come to T let's select type mark and then select width so we have to select a default width and then select height so we need height and then count also select count and say ok and here you can see so we have the family and type type mark the width height and count family and type I don't need so I'm going to hide this column and then we have type mark and then we have width and height information then I have count select select all the title and bring this to center now for count I need total quantity let's go to field if you type any edit then you will get the same window and here you can choose which one you want okay so I need formatting count and here no calculation select calculate total and then 
go to sorting and grouping here uncheck itemize every instance and then choose total say total only title count and total here type total number of dots equal to and sort this with the type mark and say ok so now you can see we have balcony door width and height count one count bedroom door width and height then we have five door entrance door we have one count service door we have one count and toilet door we have four count and we have the total and we have the count so here i don't need this 12 i need any one of these so go to edit type sorting and grouping and here put title and total and say ok looks better now we can add the schedule to the sheet I'm choosing the same sheet then here I can select door quantity and I can place this here so here you can see there is some gap between the data and the title so we can remove this gap double click and then here in appearance so here you can see blank row before data you can uncheck and say ok so now this is changed now close it so this same thing will update here and here you can see the outer border that's covering the total number of windows and here it's not covering so let's choose so let's make this schedule as this one double click go to appearance and select outline and then say ok close this now it looks same that's all please try yourself and please write to me if you have any questions thanks for watching my video thank you bye bye